वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फ्रॉम इथियोपिया फर्स्टली स्कंदर नैगा हमारा पॉपुलर फ्रंट इज गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम फानो कमांडर टॉप फानो कमांडर हैज रिलीज अ वीडियो मैसेज अनाउंसिंग सपोर्ट फॉर स्कंदर नैगा हु इज दिस कमांडर वट डिड ही से सेकेंडली Amhara Popular Front of Skander Naga few hours ago issued a statement uh, the statement is for people of Dabre Morkos and surrounding areas where APF asked people to block roads to go on strike uh, for 3 days now APF has issued a statement over the last 3 days and thirdly a uh, top security body in ethiopia comprising agency addis ababa police etc issued a statement last night about what happened in addis ababa at anwar mosque how many were killed there who tried to create instability did someone try to attack security forces why did security forces use force what is uh, government's position we have details for you in this news bulletin first of all skandar naga a former politician former head of baldiras party is now leading fano faction there is no uh, doubt about that because uh, fano fighters fano commanders are announcing their support for skandar naga zamhara a popular front which is an armed organization uh, operating in the amhara region of ethiopia when apf was formed uh, i said if you remember on the day when its establishment announced that it was an attempt to organize to centralize of uh, amhara fano struggle amhara resistance movement against the government uh, and that is what seems to be happening gradually uh, fano commanders different fano faction are announcing their support for skandar naga will the work under skandar naga or will the work with skandar naga it's not clear but they are announcing their support we saw just two days ago that uh, uh shoa fano public relations in charge issued a video message abebe milato he claimed to be representative of shoa fano shoa fano is led by belate shigao he mentioned belate shigao in his video message he mentioned skandar naga to any announced his support for skandar naga zamhara popular front but uh, statement from gondar was missing we did not see any fano commander from gondar speak about amhara uh, popular front rather we saw that gondar brigade was established a fano faction then minilik brigade suddenly became uh, uh, active again it, it has been active in the past too but they did not say a word about skandar naga about amhara uh, uh, popular front now a top fano commander who is head of amhara fano unity council has released a video message announcing support for skandar naga what is the name of this commander what did he say his name is shalika safar malese i think people who follow fano factions activities they know uh, he is very well known like masafent like uh, zameen akasi like masr shah he is head of amhara fano unity council and in a video message a few hours ago he said that we want someone who will save amharas and bring back amhara existence is he pointing towards uh, skandar naga and he said uh, so we are going forward with skandar naga with skandar we are going forward with skandar naga uh, so it means he is announcing his support for skandar naga firstly uh, and he seems to be implying that all factions including led by skandar naga's faction, uh, faction they'll work in collaboration maybe not under collaboration uh, did he say that all faction will work under skandar naga i don't know i don't have complete video 
but what i have been able to confirm so far is that he announced his support for apf so it means gonder fano uh, is with apf but largely we can say that these fano factions will uh, operate independently separately but they'll agree on some broader principles it means there is someone behind them who is organizing these fano factions who is trying to launch this uh, anti government resistance amhara movement there have been some future videos we'll discuss that too so far skandar now has support from shoa fano he has support from gondar fano mess of it is silent uh, uh, and no statement from uh, mere mudda jo to so far clip for you of uh, commander safar malase take a listen to what he said about skandar nayo enya ድሮም ተርበናል ቆሎ በልተን ታግለናል ወልድባ 10 አመት ቢሰርቼ ታግየው አለ ወያኔን አሁን ሰላም ያለ መስሎይ ወነተኝነት ለውጥ ያለ መስሎይ ነው የገባውት እንደማየው ግን ህዝብ ይሄንም አላዳንክም ህዝብ ይያለቀ ነው ህዝብ ይታረደ ነው ህዝብ ይተጠለፈ ነው ያማራ ክልል መንግስት ምን እንደምሰራ ራስ አስበው እና ምናልባት እርስ ቸም ሊሆን ይችላል የዛሬው እርስ ሌላ ሊሆን ይችላል እስክንድርን ይዘን ወደፊት እኛ ምን ፈልገው አሁን አማራን ያድናል ያማራን حزب ህልውና ይመልሳል ያድናል ምን ነው ሰው ብቻ ነው ምን ፈልግ እንጂ ከፎቅ ላይ ፎቅ ሚሰራ ከመኪና በላይ መኪና ሚያቀያይር ሰው አንፈልገው secondly viewers amhara popular front issued a statement last night about uh, its call for strike and protests in debre markos 3 days ago apf uh, released a call it called upon the people of debre markos and surrounding areas to uh, take to the streets to go on strike to close all businesses to block main roads uh it was uh, a one day call it was extended uh, for the last 3 days businesses remained partially closed in debre morcos we saw that the strike call could not be completely implemented traffic flow could not be completely disrupted there was no complete suspension of traffic movement businesses remained closed and apf threatened as well if you remember ap of threatened business owners shop owners that if someone try to open shops uh, apf will deal uh, with them so uh, the businesses remained closed roads could not be closed there was no street protest traffic flow uh, affected but we cannot say there was complete traffic uh, suspension in west gojam we saw a road block in dambicha there was partial strike in dambicha west gojam firote selam bore bore is also in west gojam bore is very crucial viewers when it comes to the activities of fano fighters areas around bore very crucial in some videos we'll try to give details uh so there was partial strike in debre markos bore Uh, dambicha firot e selam uh, and only one road block in all these cities that was in dambicha apf has thanked the people of debre markos and surrounding areas apf says that uh, people listened to the call made by skandar nagar apf so apf is thankful uh, people closed their businesses now they can return to their normal lives businesses uh, can be opened Uh, but people should be ready this struggle for amhara uh, people's uh, security and existence will continue so a new call could be issued in coming days or months so the protests announced by apf in stibre markos uh, the call it has ended 
it was partially successful, not as successful as we saw uh, in Gondar, where Gondar went on complete strike protests, roadblocks. Security forces uh, uh, there uh, had to make compromises, they had to give in. Here, we did not see that unity, that involvement of people. But it was partially successful, I would say. Thirdly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian top security body comprising intelligence agencies, federal police, Addis Ababa police issued a statement last night about what happened in Addis Ababa, where yesterday there was confrontation between security forces and the Muslims uh, who offered Friday prayer at Anwar Mosque. After that, there was confrontation. Security forces opened fire. How many were killed yesterday in Addis Ababa? Three casualties have been confirmed by governments this body. Three killed yesterday and uh, the government says that 63 police officers, officials were injured. Uh, who uh, fueled the conflict? Because Ethiopian Islamic Affairs Supreme Council on Thursday called for calm. It said that Muslims should only pray at mosques and return peacefully. There should be any protests. The security body says that anti-peace forces uh, try to create instability. They want to change constitutional uh, system. Uh, they want to destroy constitutional system and uh, they want to uh, create uh, instability and insecurity and they want to attack security forces. So, without naming anyone, without naming any body, uh, government is accusing some anti-peace forces in Muslim community, uh, which try to take law into its own hands and and they, they, they into their hands and they try to attack security forces. That is what happened according to the government. But other side uh, say, says that uh, security forces uh, fired at Muslim protesters unprovoked firing. Muslims were not armed, but when security forces used tear gas and they resorted to firing, then people threw stones, etc. Three innocent lives lost. I think one uh, was killed uh, last Friday. Four deaths confirmed by government. Dozens injured. Problem is unresolved. Muslims are protesting because of demolition of mosques, churches, uh, and... Uh, Revolution of mosques in Shagar city, but other uh, sections of society are protesting people saying that uh, in Shagar houses are being demolished. Uh, Orthodox church says church is being demolished. Main issue is unresolved. Islamic Affairs Supreme Council is calling for calm, but there are some groups within Muslim community uh, which are not paying heed to Islamic Affairs uh, Supreme Council's call, it seems. They have their own agenda or they're trying to organize themselves. They're not happy with Islamic Affairs Supreme Council's collusion with the government, it seems. Thank you for watching.